Uh, okay, so now after uh, we talked about React Native, uh, we will talk about React VR. I know it's it looks like a bit different topic, but actually it's uh, it's not because it's based on the architecture of uh, of React Native. So uh, before delving into it, let <coughs> sorry, let's understand what is React VR. React VR uses 3.js uh, to support low-level web VR and web JL APIs. Uh, before we delve into it, let's understand what 3.js, what's uh, web VR, and what's web JL. Uh, so 3.js and web JL. 3.js is a JavaScript library for displaying 3D graphics on the browser, and web JL is JavaScript API for rendering uh, 3D graphics in the browser without use of any plugins uh, of any sort. It's basically, implementation of OpenGL for what for the web. 3JS heavily uses it for for its uh, content. Uh, and WebVR is really really uh, experimental now. Uh, it sits on top of WebGL and basically gives you uh, an ability to interact with your uh, uh, VR headset. By JavaScript, while looking uh, having uh, VR experiences inside your browser. Um, let's take a look what uh, what's going on with WebGL and uh, what they are currently uh, <coughs> can I use that. So as we can see, WebGL is basically almost supported by everyone. Uh, surprisingly, there is no. Uh, not much content uh, for uh, web uh, web jail sites and stuff like that. You have like, experimental things. You have like uh, some portfolio sites, but you don't have uh, lots of lots of. Uh, uh, you don't have all your web redesigned into web jail experiences. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but it looks like we are going towards that. Uh, in the last year, we had. Uh, uh, lots of uh, buzz around the VR and, uh, and uh, virtual reality headsets uh, and games and, and stuff going on there. Uh, and people asking the question why we, uh, if we are used to games, or if we play games in VR, if we are used to 3D games from like a uh, couple of de decades, if we, even more. Uh, why all our pages look like pages? Why we don't have like this uh, amazing experiences of uh, surfing the web inside virtual reality, which make uh, can make our uh, uh, like like imagine sitting uh, in Facebook, but but in virtual room in, in vir virtual reality. Basically, in the last uh, Facebook uh, conference uh, F8, they uh, released a product called uh, Oculus Spaces, I think. And it's basically it's Facebook inside uh, inside there. Uh, we have avatars like uh, Black Mirror style. Uh, if anybody has seen this uh, show, it's not an advertisement of show of any kind. Okay. Um, so web VR. If we search here for web VR, uh, it does look good, right? We have on the edge. Surprisingly, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. We have Edge and we have Chrome for Android. Uh, Edge is really surprising. Uh, maybe if they would get, get rid of their e logo, it will uh, benefit them more. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, have Edge. We have Chrome for Android, and we have uh, uh, like experimental browser for um, Oculus Rift. I uh, always forgetting how it's called. Uh, uh, but let's take a look more in depth about the, spe um, the, the headset itself and, uh, and their support. Like in Edge, we don't have Viper, we don't have Oculus, uh, but we have Microsoft HoloLens, which is mixed reality, by the way. Um, and uh, we have Firefox and Windows, so we have Vive and Oculus supported in WebGL uh, in specific browser. I told you the Oculus. Uh, Whatever uh, Chrome for Android, Daydream, and Cardboard are supported. So that's basically the, the main usage of web, web uh, VR today. Like you have 
all this. Uh, you can build a website for for uh, viewers and Android, and they will get the, the, the good experience of web VR because uh, um, like building a card, uh, like buying a cardboard, it's like a couple of bucks, and daydreams is a little bit more expensive, but but still, it's it's not like high end device like Oculus uh, and why. Uh, Samsung Internet, no idea what's that. Ah, you have Samsung Gear VR and Cardboard. Uh, this is the, uh, the specific browser uh, I told you about, and we have Vive Server. Uh, so, as you can see here, we have like this is the state of web VR today. Uh, but, uh, okay, we understood what is web VR, what is uh, uh, what GL, but what's the, the actual motivation of creating React VR? Yeah, why why do you want to use 3GS and which is really mature? It's out there for for like uh, several years and the people using it. Uh, why would, would you use React for that? Well, basically the motivation is to use declarative and functional programming style, like we uh, opposing to imperative. Uh, uh, style like with 3JS, you have to define how to update vertices, how to calculate your updates, how to update transforms, and the stuff like that. How to move things around in React to have this uh, dipping mechanism, so we can just uh, change our transform as a, a function of our state inside the component. We can say our component is on x. Uh, whatever, and now it's on X uh, other X, and the React will uh, deal with all these uh, calculations. We can reuse React ecosystem, we can use Mobix, we can use Redux, we can use all the tools that come to, uh, with React, and we can start using Yoga, which I remind you is a uh, layout and engine, it's like CSS-ish style, uh, kind of style, CSS and JS kind of style. Um, the architecture of React VR is, uh, is almost identical to React Native, excluding the whole threading things. Uh, we have React code, which uh, uses the packager uh, uh, to build stuff, and then you have Web VR and 3GS. Meaning you have access to some specific uh, um, APIs available out there for React VR, but. Uh, but uh, as time comes, they add more and more, basically, wrappers to 3GS uh, uh, functions. So, uh, there is, a, um, instead of calling the 3GS function, you will uh, just create a, a correct component, pass it props, and, and stuff like that. Uh, so, how you get started with, with React VR, even if you don't have the supported browser or supported uh, you see, I'm, I'm on Mac here, and I have the Chrome here. Uh, basically, I'm not, uh, I don't have VR here supported. I don't run it on... Uh, I have the iPhone, so I don't have uh, Android here, but uh, still will uh, we'll, uh, run a short example how uh, React VR looks like. So we install uh, globally React VR CLI. Reminds React Native, right? The, the same kind of style. We install, uh, install React VR CLI. Then we init with Welcome to VR, uh, enter our project, and we start it. We get uh, this folder, folder structure. Everything inside static assets can be accessed in React VR with assets function, and uh, just naming the, uh, the assets. The chess world and, the, and client and everything here is the basic uh, code you will get when you run your uh, Wrapping VR in it. Uh, inside VR folder, you will have uh, a basic index.html, you will have the, the bootstrapping part of React VR. Uh, inside this part, you can add uh, native modules uh, of some sort and, uh, and stuff like that. Uh, the code looks similar uh, uh, to React Native, we have a view here. And we have uh, we have text, and we have some weird component called panel, right? And we have source, asset, chess code. As I said before, asset will bring uh, uh, everything that sits inside a static assets folder. Uh, so just to bring your asset, you use it 
like, like that. And then you style with a regular CSS with some exceptions, like you have layout origin. And your translates are really, really important now because you're in 3D space. You're not simulating translate uh, Z in, uh, like you're simulating in, in web, uh, you really have uh, Z access. Everything is, is 3D now. Um, and then you register your component. With this, uh, you see, it looks the same as React uh, Native. I tell you, more of the docs look almost identical in terms of styling and uh, stuff like that. So, uh, Pano can, uh, is, is uh, for panoramas. Basically, inside our web VR application, we have a panorama uh, or a skybox around uh, the, the, the viewer. Uh, and we have two styles of uh, 360 uh, panoramas. We have uh, Equal Rectangular, Angular, <laughs> Acquire <coughs> Angular, yeah, kind of. Uh, so you have this weird picture, which is basically uh, 30, 60 degrees uh, folded out, kind of thing. If you search on Flickr, Equal Rectangular, you will uh, get lots of pictures uh, that looks weird. And you have uh, skyboxes. Skyboxes are heavily used in 3D uh, gaming, in uh, Unity 3D, and Unreal engines. And looks in uh, looks like this. You have uh, six different images, and uh, basically you can pass to uh, to your panel source instead of uh, is, uh, instead of passing a source, you pass your array. And you pass an array of six images in specific order, and you will get the same uh, kind of uh, wrapping behavior. Uh, our coordinate system uh, is a bit different. We have y, uh, y, x, uh, y axis, z, and uh, x axis, which are uh, a bit different. Like uh, everything we want to go down. Uh, we uh, stated with minus, minus. Uh, same with uh, with z. If you want something to be in front of you, you uh, give it minus uh, z value, uh, and x is uh, is really right or left. Um, so uh, in order to uh, put things around and uh, uh, position them in three space, you, you use transform which is basically an array of objects. Uh, each object ha uh, has a key uh, that states its uh, transform property, like rotate z-axis uh, and uh, some rotation state, for example. Or you have translate uh, with uh, x, y, and z, uh, and you have different scale. Um, and you have this one, you have matrix. You can ask uh, why the hell somebody will write this kind of code uh, if I can use this one to translate and scale. Uh, Matrix basically gives you an ability to uh, uh, <coughs> to put your uh, React uh, to put inside your React code external modules that calculate transforms, like you have, for example, MatterJS, which is a physics engine. And this physics engine calculates transforms of an object that is falling, for example. And you want to pass these transforms. These transforms will be calculated in matrix style. Uh, not the matrix movie, but the matrix like this. Uh, so you want to pass matrix here, so you will pass the method of matter.js uh, inside matrix and uh, everything will work. Um, yes, question about the matrix. The way yeah. Written there, you have the extra space between some of the characters because you're separating four different. Uh, is there a reason for the extra space? Ah, no, no, sorry. No, just a uh, typo. Uh, so, we have uh, uh, models and lights. We can put actual 3D models inside our uh, uh, space. We have. Uh, uh, have a model uh, component, and we can define uh, objects and materials 
Uh, in the same way we do it in 3GS, we uh, put a castle object and we put castle material. And uh, we add the property lead uh, equals true, meaning we want our ma material to be lead from outside. Um, for example, you have a material that is uh, uh, emitting light, we won't use lead equals true because we want, for example, we have a sun, we want it to have emission, light emission, we don't want to, it to reflect lights. So for reflection, we will use lead equals true. And uh, for lights, there are several kinds of lights, uh, but uh, the one that is the really basic, uh, ambient light means uh, that we have the light in the room from somewhere, and uh, basically that's it. We have points lights, we have directional lights, we have several other lights, that we can say this light points to this object. Uh, and we can integrate everything with the existing app uh, because, after all, everything is 3GS on steroids uh, on the pod. And uh, yeah, show the demo. Okay. How it looks like. You want it uh, uh, cool stuff, right? So, this is our VR world. If we <coughs> this image you, you see here is the, this weird image I showed you before, and this is the, the, the actual 3D model rendered inside our world, and it has a lot of component, which is uh, here. Uh, if we look at the code, how it's written. have a bunch of static assets and we have index there. We have panel with source of forest JPEG, which is our acquire rectangular, whatever <laughs> weird name, uh, image. And we have ambient light with intensity uh, 0.5 and we have model which is uh, uh, have several uh, it's minus 20, uh, means it sits on the, on the floor, and it's 10, meaning it's uh, uh, behind me, right? It, it's a big castle, so you are in, inside the castle, but the, the pivot point of the castle is 10 uh, meters, uh, yeah, the, the length uh, is in meters. Uh, so if, if you have life and, and you like make a step, a meter, it will be calculated uh, and we have object with asset, uh, with asset castle object and uh, castle MPL. Uh, and we have some text with some options. Regarding MTL files, if we'll take a look at side MTL, this is basically the output of material we get from Blender, 3D Max, or uh, yeah, we have 3D Max here. Uh, basically, it's it's also readable. We have uh, like uh, a bunch of values uh, we don't really care about, <laughs> but we have map k a k d, which is rock JPEG. So if something doesn't work, we need to search for rock JPEG if it exists here, and it's our texture. And we have uh, like grass. And grass is grass texture you've seen on the floor. And uh, have lots of uh, other stuff here. Uh, yeah, and have a demon somewhere. Uh, and basically, that's it. Here's our hello, which is transformed. It's uh, in front of me, three meters, right? And three meters right on the plus of x axis. So. Uh, it's here, right? Can you show how to add a timer that will rotate the text with the transform? We don't have time. Though. Yeah, <laughs> we kind of have to we have wrap it up. We have time for the timer. Yeah. Basically, to put your rotation, to calculate your rotations, you can just uh, put here. Uh, 
We're actually a bit short on time. Huh? We're a bit over the ah, time okay. right now, so uh, we will do it uh, maybe after the yeah, after next uh, uh, lecture. Anyway, uh, in in a couple of words, in order to rotate this, you put put, put here rotate Z, and you put here uh, 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 this state uh, rotation Z, and you will change your state. Okay, as a function of time. Okay, cool. I can have clear uh, set interval and uh, so that's basically it. That's when we are uh, regarding three JS. In general, if you want to see more uh, Bigger uh, 3GS or uh, WebGL examples, like you have really inside 3GS.org, you have lots of lots of uh, uh, amazing websites with uh, written in, in uh, WebGL, and basically every website written in WebGL can be uh, written also in React VR and uh, be, uh, be compatible to VR headsets. Same with sounds. Like See, have like this kind of transition. It's, uh, it's everything is running on one I do this with CSS. Mm -hmm. You are going to do this with CSS <laughs> yeah, no, no. No. <laughs> We kind of have to finish up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> everyone, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.